it's always great arriving at Sunnose River and uh, we're just waiting for Ron, he sleeps late, he lives very close here compared to us but uh, yeah, he sleeps, he likes sleeping late and we're just waiting for him, we'll all go through, go look for mullet, biggest, biggest challenge of the day I think uh, finding, finding bites will be uh, much easier than finding mullet once we have mullet the bites will be easy and that's the plan now if you haven't been to Sunday's River Mouth, made be for edibles or non-edibles, this should definitely be on your short list of fishing destinations. Regardless of which area you are in South Africa, it's always important to keep an ear on the ground when fish are on the bite. Normally when conditions line up and depending on the species, they would move through certain areas. And that was the case with the bronze whalers at Sunday's River Mouth. For almost two weeks, there were regular good catches of bronze whaler sharks. Sundays, just arrived now, it's very hot. The window's not supposed to start until lunchtime and it's already pumping, so we'll see how the day goes. But we're gonna try to get some live bait quick in the river. We tried in J Bay, we've been unsuccessful. The water's ice cold, we've cleaned that side, no sign of life there. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna try in the river as we go along, walk, throw the net, throw the net, see if we can get a few for the day. We do have other bait, but live bait is king on this coast, so see if we can get a few just to give us the best chance today. Check out the size of these things, right? that's the problem. Like when you blind throw and you get lucky like that. There are several areas that produces good catches on the bronzies. Dana Bay in the Southern Cape is definitely one of them. Then the Western Cape's got several areas, the Overberg and then the Eastern Cape, all the way up into Transkei. Now another challenge is finding mullet, especially when you're looking for them. And if you're looking for bronze whaler bites, live mullet is always top of the list, especially in the Eastern Cape. Sunday's River, found a bit of a, which looks like a bit of a hole, unfortunately the tide's turned already, it's about, I think, probably out and off, already past tide, so it's sucking quickly, we're just going to put some of the liveys out and see if we're lucky enough to get a pull, otherwise we'll just move spots again. Now even though the sea looked flat, there was quite a big surge as it was very deep water. So when the water pushes over that lip, it forms a strong surge and therefore a current in front of us, which naturally makes a good fishing area, but a difficult wading area. And with the bigger mullet, to get them over the lip, you had to get a little bit closer. Thank goodness the sea was fairly flat. Now this doesn't look great, but when the water is brown like this, all you do now is come there and add some salty. We have to apologize for the sound as we forgot the microphone at the office.
the water side. We found the spoons and we're throwing spoons. Look at my rod. Ah, uh, so quiet. Throw the spoon. With this wind you could throw the spoon quite far. Look back and there's my rod going. So typical how that happens, but at least we're on. Took a lot of string at first. And now it's coming in nicely. So. This is a fish. Michael was the first into a good sized bronzy and was quick to respond on how strong this fish is. Michael's line tangled up in mine, which led me to remove my rod out of the water. It wasn't long and a run followed, and with them both being on, someone had to assist in fetching the fish. Unfortunately in this case, both Michael and Ruan lost their fish. This area lends itself to a lot of broken shells, rocks and pebbles washing around. It could have been anything that broke their lines. I was fortunate enough to be next in line. Now at first my fish didn't take much line and I thought I was onto a reggae. After about 10 minutes I was hoping it wasn't a reggae for this fish was far too stubborn and strong. The biggest challenge was getting the bronzy over that lip, which was a very deep lip, and with that strong surge, they used it to their advantage. Also keeping in mind all the broken shells, pebbles and rocks washing around that can pop your line at any time. I got myself a little bit higher up and fought most of the fight with a rod tip into the air. 
trying to avoid the line touching the lip. After just under an hour, I managed to get this beautiful specimen onto the beach. After quickly releasing her, it was clear and confirmed once again that the Eastern Cape Bronzes packs a serious punch. And if compared with Western Cape and even Namibia, there could be differences of opinion, but in my opinion, definitely one of the stronger opponents. that and they just reliable looks for many years why change and shame the mullet didn't make it but uh, we'll uh, we'll honor him by using him in, on Saturday in the league as a dead bait but uh, yeah what a, what a fight they strong now I can honestly confess the bronzes here in the Eastern Cape and especially here by Sundays and Thunder Ridge when the water is cold they're super strong and you can see their bodies, they look, they look for us. Uh, not USM, they're using proper stuff. S3. They're using that proper strong process. Michael and Ron was quick into the water, which led to quick bites. With them both being on in minutes, I did not put another bait. As, as I said earlier, someone has to go fetch the fish. Now these two bronzies really gave them their money worth. And Michael's fish was definitely using the current to his advantage. Ron's fish going slightly left also had that drag over the lip that it used to the max. These two fish took them well over an hour to get into the shallows. After getting Michael's fish onto the beach and getting a few photos after our cameraman got stung by a bee, Ruan's was almost ready to land and we shifted over quickly, assisting Ruan with another beautiful bronzy. These bronzies were all well over 100 kilos.
Now, unfortunately, we had to pack up due to prior arrangements, but Ruan couldn't help putting another live bait out. And in less than five minutes, got picked up again. And I almost want to say, fortunately, wasn't a proper hookup, as he would have had to struggle with this fish all by himself. Okay, gents, uh, yeah, that we had to call it. Um, there was five baits put out, five or six, the last one, Ruan. Uh, that fish dropped him and took the sinker, so it just washed him, unfortunately. So six baits, uh, six pulls. I had one bait in the water, Michael's fish picked it up. So three through that, that went. Michael lost his first one, Ron lost his first one. Then I had that one, got that one, then each of them fought a fish. Now, sure, good hour and a half, two hours. And then as Ron put another one, whop, on that. And uh, got picked up then, unfortunately, take a bit. So, yeah, the reason we're leaving a bit early, um, we want to try and be at the airport just after three. So, a little, got a little keep puppy coming on the aeroplane. And I uh, can't wait to see that. We've got two very excited ones at home. So, I think the guys aren't happy with me because yeah, it would have been great. I think every boat now, we just walk past them fighting a ragged ground water washing in. It's mostly to the mouth here. And uh, I think all day long, you'll get the fish here. Unfortunately, we're only allowed to fish here till tomorrow morning, 5, 6 o'clock, because we have a league yard set up. But that was really a super, super day. And it's really great with the bronzes being around. Um, and really in the Eastern Cape, find out where they are, make sure the weather is right. Palmer Sea, um, yeah, but Sundays you want a meter and lower, maybe 1.3 meter and lower. Uh, hum to us, if you can get to that, works as well. And uh, most of these areas, yeah, they've been producing, but these bron bronzes are bulky, they're fat, they're strong, they're really stubborn, it's really good fights. And uh, yeah, tackle last makes a big difference when you have the right tackle and we were lucky to get those uh, those uh, mullets this morning for live baits. It makes a massive difference at this stage. Dead baits, only a year and there you'll get a bite. The bites come with the live bait. But thank you for watching. Thank you for following us. Please like this video. It really helps us in the algorithms. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button. Then you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Thank you guys again for watching Ace of Fishing. Fishing. Please make sure you like this video as that really helps us. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video.